students we don't discuss about Newton's law of viscosity that is Newton's formula for viscosity so Newton's Newton's formula of viscosity so here what we'll take that uh, it says that in case of a solid the uh, frictional force in case of a law of uh, static frictions or kinetic frictions we have defined that the frictional force is independent of the area of contacts area of two surfaces in contact that we also verified experimentally but in case of fluid in case of fluid the viscous force it is same like friction the viscous force or viscous drag does depend on the area of the layers so first point is found Newton observed that the viscous force the viscous force the viscous drag depends on the area of the layer and it also depends on the velocity gradient dv by dx so combining these two we will have f x proportional to a d by dx okay now some constant should be introduced because the proportionality over there i introduced this constant that is called eta is read as eta now this is newton's formula for viscosity that this is a viscous force the viscous force is proportional to the area of the layers and velocity gradient so f is eta a dv by dx this is what is the law that the force viscous force will depend on the area if area is more than viscous force will also work and depends on the how the what is the presence of the velocity gradient if the velocity gradient is more then also viscous force will be more velocity gradient is more means that this delta v should be more and this delta x would be less or you can make or balance any one of the factors so that the ratio is more i can do in three ways i can increase delta v and decrease delta x one option i can increase delta v second option i will not make a change of course in the value of dx next is uh, the third option i'll decrease the value of dx i'll not make any change in dv so in all these three options this will increase if dv increases that means uh, the layer we are talking about in the other layer is the speed is greater that is higher relative velocity the viscous force also will be higher because we have seen or will notice and we have discussed also that the in case of a fluid the viscous force depends upon the velocity it's very very small between the layers that means if we move a little and then velocity is very high then the viscous force is also very high so this way this is what newton observed and wrote this where eta is a constant of proportionality known as coefficient of viscosity it's known as coefficient of viscosity its unit will be you can rearrange this and get the unit let us rearrange this and get the unit eta is Eta is uh, f divided by a divided by d by dx or dx by dv you can say this way also so if you plug these values this will be this is uh, i can write like this this is newton this is meter square this is one upon second so newton second per meter square Newton, which is fine. This is called the uh, decapoise that we will discuss. Uh, this is decapoise, and uh, in CGS it is dying second for centimeter square. This one is called the uh, poise, and this one is called. Decapoise. Okay. So, 
1 take a poison is 10 poison obviously if you convert this into die then 10 is to 5 die 1 newton is 10 is to 5 die and the meter square is 10 is to 4 centimeter square so here 10 is to 5 here is 10 is to 4 that cancels and 10 is left so 1 deca is 10 times poise so therefore deca is the si unit of uh, coefficient of viscosity and the poise is the cc's unit of coefficient of viscosity and this uh, coefficient of viscosity is the property of the fluid it is not the uh, it doesn't depend upon the force or the area of the layers or the velocity gradient it just appears as a constant in the equation the coefficient of viscosity is purely a uh, material or a fluid property okay so that's all for the newton's formula of viscosity or newton's law of viscosity okay thank you